What are you wearing today? My work clothes. That's inspired. <laughs> what is this for? The fashion week. Yeah, energy is. I'm out of work. I'm done, dude. I'm done for the day. Fashion week in New York City, and we have possibly the most unpredictable weather. It was 90 degrees earlier. Now it says it might hail. What are you wearing today? I am wearing, you know, an old 60s mohair cardigan. Just saw uh, some good old baggy pin try. Issey Miyake. Actually, I do love my shoes. Uh, Rav Simmons, and they have like uh, very obscure references on the flats. Button up shirt, it's so hot, dude. It's so hot today. I'm so hot, I think I'm just gonna let it rock, dude. Not, I'm, I'm out of work, I'm done, dude. I'm done for the day. What are you wearing today? <laughs> I'm wearing these boots that my mum got me from LA. I actually don't know the store, and then I got this at um, Urban Jungle. I got this from Bleecker Street. This I got from The Real Real, it's like a Cavalli bag I got. This, I, I was just telling her, I can't remember where it's from, but I got it for like $18 at some like thrift These place. boots are from Thailand. <laughs> uh, this skirt is my friend's. I think it's Levi. And then this is Courtney Taylor. These are my mom's. She actually made them. Um, but yeah. Yeah. So cool. Both of you guys have great outfits today. Thank you. We're students. What is something you're passionate about right now? Um, new experiences. Yeah. And travel. Travel. What are you wearing today? I'm wearing diesel jeans. And maybe we all jersey, necklace, I forgot the brand, but it's from Hong Kong. Oh, sweet. It's a Hong Kong brand. And yeah, and um, Jordan Suits collab with a small brand. But yeah, thank you. I love your outfit today. Thank you so much. Are you from Hong Kong? Um, yeah. Okay, where do you get your style inspiration from? This girl called Colleen Diaz. It's, I, I just follow a bunch of people on Instagram, but and people on the street. For sure. And what do you do for a job? Uh, I'm an artist. Wow. Yeah. What kind of art? Um, mixed media, like 2D work. Let me go okay. out the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what is something you're passionate about right now? Um, yo, yo, I'm in the back of upcycling clothes. I'm trying to make um, tops out of like old leather shoes. So I'm like taking them apart and then stitching them into like corsets and stuff like that. So I'm that's all what about I'm doing. that. Yeah. Oh, thank you so much. Yeah. Are you a vlogger? Like, uh, so I'm wearing a Jordan jersey and I paired it with a skirt and I have my golden goose sneakers. Cool. Yeah. Everything's paired together so nice today. Thank you. Thank Where do you, you get your style inspiration from? Um, I don't know, just walking around the city. That's the beauty of living here, right? They mm -hmm. get to see other people and what they put together and it's inspiring. So. For sure. Yeah. And what do you do for a job? I work with Ryan Sirhan at Sirhan. I'm a real estate agent. Oh, wow. Yes. I th I've interviewed a couple people actually that work for him. Oh, really? Yeah. They must all be very stylish people now. I guess so. <laughs> He's got a good eye. Uh, so right now I'm actually running for city council in my district, which is District 22. So I'm passionate about the city and bringing the city back together and getting everything back on track. So that's what I'm passionate about I love about that. Right now. Thank you so much. It's yeah. really lucky. Thank you very much. <laughs> Take care. Have a great day. What are you wearing today? Uh, I'm wearing uh, Paris Ellis. I'm wearing, I want to say this is Fire, Think Prada, and then Tiger Nissues, and then the rings, Doviana, and Jewelry Doviana. Look at the shades. Uh, this is um, Bottega. All these colors look great on you. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. How about you? My top is from Runway. My skirt is from Free People. My shoes are from Altered State. And my purse is Depop. Wow. Great outfit today. Thank you. Where do you guys get your style inspiration from? I'm a stylist. Well, so, and I do my own style. Yeah. <laughs> have Makes my own sense. vibe. <laughs> so I'm about to go to an event right now. <laughs> what is something you're passionate about? Fashion. Um, modeling, influencing, uh, traveling, and getting content. Sure. Basic stuff. I mean, <laughs> I sound like a New Yorker, low key. Um, starting from the top, I have a Stussy Knitted Bucket, Uniqlo T, um, Vintage Interstate Pants, and a Martin Rose, Martin Rose Mule, Thumb Slide Jewelry, and that's it, man. Okay. I like how you put these colors together here. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Do you have a style inspiration? Uh, honestly, I'm a film director, so characters I want to create in the future are kind of who I get inspired by. Film, music, New York. Yeah, I'll say about that. Where are you from? 
Arizona, actually. South right. Phoenix, Arizona. Are you here for Fashion Week? Yes, I am. And I move here next year. I'm a film director and I'm an advisor for Bottega. What I'm passionate about right now, I'm writing a book about cars, so the automotive world is kind of what I'm really, like, really passionate about. Any cars in particular? Uh, I would say Porsche and Hull, um, but specifically 918 Spider, uh, McLaren, everything, honestly. Yeah, yeah. I say what Porsche is doing with collaboration. Yeah, Need for Speed games kind of got me into the whole world. So, yeah, like, that's I would sick, say man. just like the art world in the car. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Appreciate it, man. It's adding to the collection right this here. Today. today I'm wearing Aria, Zara. This is, uh, I should not remember where these are from. Forever 21 and Zara. And I love all the colors here today. Thank you. Well, my favorite color is red, so it just happens to be the color of the city. These earrings are from Area, and they're very heavy, but <laughs> fashion is pain, so <laughs> all for the name of fashion. Where do you get your style inspiration from? Uh, well, I'm actually from Boise, Idaho. I'm a small town girl with a big city heart, so I've always just had passion for like glamour and glitz. Well, I stay at home right now, I have a blog. Okay. So it's called Stiletto Confessions. I specialize in over the top and glamorous, so obviously. <laughs> I would say I'm passionate about just finding myself again, because again, I'm a mother. So that's why I'm out here as well, but just fashion and just wellness as well. I love that. Oh my goodness, yeah. thank you. <laughs> yeah, for sure. <laughs> you went, what is that? I love these pants. Thank you. They're very big. They're like mom jeans. Yeah. <laughs> Where do you get your style inspiration from? Um, Vogue.com, um, runway shows, the internet, Pinterest. For sure. Yeah, just being in the city. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what do you do for a job? Uh, I'm a freelance, uh, a freelancer, assistant stylist, and an artist. What is something you're passionate about? Right uh, I'm very passionate about being creative. I love art. I love the way people style clothing um, in a different way that's unique. I love meeting all sorts of different types of personalities of people because I think there's something inspiring about personalities and how people carry themselves. Mm -hmm. So yeah. That's part of why I love doing this. Yeah. There's so many cool people. <laughs> oh, <laughs> thank you. Yeah. Take care today. What is this for? Oh, this is for? It's for my YouTube style vlog. Uh, I don't have anything special on, so... You put it together really nice. Thank you. Where's your jacket from? I think it's a bubbly always. Oh, bubbly cool. Oil. What about your bag? Uh, that's a good question. It's kind of a fake uh, bell staff bag. What do you do for a job? I'm a lawyer. What's something you're passionate about? A right new now? album by an Australian band called Floodlights. I'm wearing a to white top and like a blue, like a kind of navy pants, some boots, like a blazer. Where'd you get the pants from? Oh, it's from Lucy in the Sky. I'm from Brazil, but I live in New York. What do you do for a job? Uh, I'm a nanny. Right now, I think my fashion is like fashion. I love fashion and like, look at the, like, the prettiest girl, like the nicest outfit, you know, like. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> oh my goodness, really? <laughs> Thank you so much. Yeah, take wow. Care. What are you wearing today? <laughs> today is prestige. A little fashion week fit? For the fashion week, you know, prestige all the way down with Maury's on all day. What were you doing last night? Oh, last night, you know, we ended up in, um, I ran into um, my, ma my main dude, Diaper Dan. So we went to Mary J party down at the MCM. Let me take this from you for a second. Yeah. We need some more light on you. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> we was down at the MCM. So. All right. With Mary and. You gotta text me next Diaper time. Diaper Dan. Yeah, you miss next a Next time real, you go out. You miss a good one. <laughs> Everybody was in there with Fabulous, but you know, it's the 50 years anniversary of hip hop. It's the birthday, August 11th, 1973. You know, it's crazy. Yeah, all these parties all over the city. And we went back to 1520 Cedric Avenue where Herc lived. I'm the first hip hop promoter. My back to school party that I gave. You know, where we used to go to the, the parties at. And her building. 1520 Cedric Avenue, August 11, 1973. That was the birth of hip hop. First generation of hip hop. I want my party to be whack. So I said, Her, you're giving a party and you're going to play the music. And he said, Okay. That's the group and the B boys are just waiting for that. It's the man around. This is the birthplace, the Bronx. This is where it started, and it's just something that came out of love. Sterling, welcome to you on this video visit to New York City. I am wearing a uh, Uniqlo. Uh, these are my friend's brand in Australia. Uh, these were gifted to me by a stylist and the Raph Simmons classics. 
right. and just uh, different jewelry, Gucci, Cartier, Thrifted, Louis Vuitton, and John Hardy. You always got the nice jewelry on. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta get more pieces, so. I love the fit today. Thank you, bro. Yes, I thrifted this in South Africa. Um, I also thrifted this, also thrifted this. Um, this, I took this from a boy, got this from a girl at my school. Got this at a flea market. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm not geek keeping, like, I promise. I just, <laughs> oh, these are Steve Madden. Go get them. Back on the same. You're pretty good at thrifting, <laughs> I can tell. Yeah. <laughs> what do you guys do for a job? Uh, model, creative director, I have my own production company, and I'm a designer. I'm a model and I'm a student, so I'm going to be a software engineer, but not, not, not quite yet. Is that your major, engineering? Yeah, for now. Well, computer engineering. She's a software engineer already. Something she's just like, acting like she's not. Also, just I being mean, humble? Yeah. I have a piece of my outfit in my bag. Did you make that? I did. I will be selling them soon. What's your name? I'm Dia. You can find me on Instagram at D-E-C-C-A. C-R-O-S-S-E, that's me. I'm passionate about actually understanding art, not from the perspective social media presents it, but from what it actually involves, because art is pretty much perspective. So I've been like diving into doing my research, studying old designers, old shows, and really giving a about the work I put out and spending more time and not really paying attention to the chaos happening in the world. Time is constructive and it's just like, it depends on how you look at it. You know, I'd rather spend two years on something I really appreciate than rush to put out something that could have been better if you just so, took your time. Patience is what I've been working on a lot. Yeah, I'm passionate about creating. It's just what makes me happy. Like when I'm sitting in my room at this like hunched over this like sewing machine or like I like knit and stuff too. I have a ton of like old lady hobbies. But when I can see it go from like, oh I drew this in my like notebook to like it's an actual real living thing that I'm wearing on my body. That shit is fire, like I love that. And I think also getting to know myself, getting to know my style. Cause I feel like I can dress, but I don't have like that signature. Look. I guess I'm like young, but I'll grow into it. But yeah. that's what is important to me right now. That's what's up, you have a unique look. I think you should keep going with it. <laughs> what are you wearing today? Uh, it's a combination of Victoria Beckham, Zara, and the shoes or shoes. Beautiful. And that's John Ray. <laughs> Where do you get your style inspiration? Uh, I think from my mother and my grandmother, who are Argentine. Okay. Yeah. What do you do for a job? Investment banking. What is something you're passionate about right now? Uh, investing in women. So I'm feeling a bit daring today. This place is in Williamsburg, Little Italy Pizza. Somebody said this is like a McDonald's of pizza shops. So, let's see what we got. <laughs> Extra floppy. Quality, marginal. As I get farther into it, the crunch is pretty phenomenal. I'm not gonna lie. Way too much cheese. And you can tell the ingredients are just dog shit. Despite the quality, I'll eat just about any New York slice when I'm hungry. Just to fill me up. Whoever said this was like a McDonald's, they were right. I'm gonna rate this out of five Ralphs. Ralph is the name of my dog. 3.5 Ralphs. Yeah. What yeah. you got going on with that? Just came from work. The good old, the good old nine to five, the good old corporate shit. But uh, you know, I can't complain. Right now, what I'm passionate about, I've been really working to give back to my community and just give back and affect change at a like grassroots level. Like, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I feel like I work for a corporation and we're doing this stuff for the country and the world and schools and curriculums, you kind of forget like about Like I live in my childhood neighborhood, so like I see my first schools, right, every day. And so, um, yeah, just working on like interacting with my community more, you know what I mean, and affecting change. So something I do is I give a $2 bill to people with nice style. Oh, oh. shit. Oh, oh. That's, that's way nice. too kind. Thank you very Take much. Care, guys. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. So yeah, Thank you for joining me on this episode. Make sure to check out one of these other videos if you enjoyed this one. I love you so much, and until next time, peace.